So let's go straight to the point. We learned a few days ago from a South Korean rumor that Samsung is developing the Exynos 2400 chipset for the year 2024. Many people thought Exynos chips would return to Samsung flagships, specifically the Galaxy S24 lineup, while others thought there was absolutely no chance Samsung would use Exynos chips again on their top-of-the-line phones given their poor performance and how well the Snapdragon chips produced by TSMC are performing on the S23 lineup. Today, we have additional inside information from reliable sources that helps us understand what is happening with the Samsung and Exynos teams and whether or not Exynos will make a comeback with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Two studies are shown here, one from Trendforce and the other from Business Korea. They both have favorable reputations. And they both claim that the Exynos 2400 has been approved for mass manufacturing for use on the Galaxy S24 lineup by Samsung's MX business, also known as their mobile division. You may be wondering why they would want to do that given that everyone was pleased with the performance and battery life of the S23 Ultra due to the Snapdragon chip, why would they want to utilize a chip that everyone loads? Well, it all comes down to Samsung's buying power. According to Business Korea, Samsung's buying power decreased after going all-in with the Snapdragon chip for the S23 range. Samsung was able to effectively bargain with Qualcomm and lower the unit price of Snapdragon chips since they used two chips for their flagship devices all these years. They were unable to achieve that with the S23 since they opted not to employ Exynos chips, giving Qualcomm the advantage in price talks. As a consequence, Samsung has had to pay 77% more for the chips this year than they did last year. This decreased their profit margins, which is the main reason they want to reintroduce the Exynos 2400 to the S24 range. Because Exynos has received so much negative press over the years, Samsung would be smart to simply do away of it and design their own chipset from scratch, which they are currently doing. But avoid using Exynos 2400 on the S24, doing so would just enrage consumers and harm sales. Fortunately, the article also notes that Exynos 2400 still has heating concerns, so Samsung may either utilize it sparingly, like they did with the S22, or not at all. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with that been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.